It's the I Can't Mom Today podcast with Heather, the new mom, and Vera, the <clears throat> seasoned mom. I Can't Mom Today. Hey, this is Vera and Heather back again with another episode of I Can't Mom Today podcast. Hi, Vera. Hey, Heather. How's it going? Oh, you know, just good, good, good. Uh, oh, that sounds hmm. so absolutely positive. No, it's just hot. You know, it's hot. It's hot. By the way, uh, Cinnamon the Cat is here, too. So if you hear meowing, that's that's Okay. <laughs> I have house guests still, so they're right downstairs. So. Uh, well, there you go. Um, so we might have yeah. a little bit of background noise. Yes, but it'd be fun <laughs> background noise because it'd be like kids screaming, ma- cats meowing, like yeah. just everything that you want in life. Yeah. <laughs> All the joys. All the joys. <laughs> How's everything going? Everything, everybody back to somewhat normal? Uh, We're getting there. I mean, as normal Good. as we can be. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. That's how it goes, you know. I understand. Y'all. I understand. Oh, Brad will sure. be back soon, so that'll be exciting. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just yeah. a few more days. Woo-hoo. I know. I'm so excited. Whoop, whoop. I really, you know, I know he does a lot, but I really realize how much he does when he's away. Like, I have to cook. Like, what's that about? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah, so I can't wait for him to get back. I mean, for multiple reasons, not just so I can eat (laughs) not salad every day. (laughs) That's funny. (laughs) Yeah. See, I can. So you posted. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was just going to say, I I can cook. I just don't necessarily I'll do it when I want to do it. I don't like yeah. having to do it, like when you have to cook. You know, um, I like cooking really in depth things. Like it takes a lot of time. I just get in my zone. I do it. But like the regular day in and day out stuff. Like before Brad, I just had salads. Yeah, yeah. I would have salads with like artichoke hearts and like uh, hemp seeds and Ew. tomatoes and red pepper. I mean, just I had so much in there, and. uh then Brad, because I mostly ate vegetarian before Brad and like very rarely ate meat because I was vegan for like a year. And then I was like, well, it was a little too strict for me. So I went down to vegetarian. And then when Brad came along and he's like, oh, I'll cook for you. And it's just all meat. Uh-huh. So, I mean, I do, st- I do stick to some, um, I do eat vegetables too. So it's not, <laughs> it's not all meat. He eats all meat. Yeah. But, well, that's Jerry. I mean, I don't know if it must be a man thing. It's like meat, but have meat. Like, ugh, I don't need any more. I mean, I'm not really supposed to eat that much meat anyway. And Mm -hmm. I just, it's so heavy. I like it. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I love a good steak Mm -hmm. every once in a while, but not like every night steak, pork chops. Yeah. You know, Mm -hmm. it's just, my stomach's like, ugh, it's too much. No mas. No (laughs) mas. I don't know. I I love seafood. I mean, if I could have seafood every day, honestly, but it's Mm -hmm. so expensive, especially in Colorado. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Oof. I can imagine. Yeah, here at least we can get some local stuff and it's not quite as bad, but it's still expensive. Mm-hmm. But yeah, seafood mm-hmm. and fish, like, love that. Mm-hmm. Yummy. Love that for you. <laughs> That's what you get for leaving Florida. I know, but you know what? It's not as hot here. And I mean, it can it can get pretty hot, mm-hmm. truthfully, here, but like, you just step into the shade and you're like, oh, not so bad. Yeah, when well, you don't Versus have Versus there, you step in the shade, it's like... <sighs> yeah, it's just a less bright version of hot. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Yep. And the humidity here is pretty bad, especially in Tallahassee. Mm-hmm. It is. <laughs> so anyway, sorry, but we were, we were going to actually talk about something specific. Yeah, you posted in our group um, what... It was about music and, like, what jam, like, when you're in a bad mood, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I said, you know, like, what's your favorite music to listen to when you can't mom today? Like, you oh, need to yeah, let yeah. loose and stop thinking too hard. And mm-hmm. <laughs> so the first response was gangster rap. <laughs> yeah, I mean, makes sense. Checks out. <laughs> and then, but then it was so funny. Another person said uh, gangsta's paradise, you know? Mm-hmm. And so... She's like, you get into 90s gangsta mode when your teen acts like a teen. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) And she says, okay, let me put this bandana on and see who wins. (laughs) Wait, what? (laughs) Let me put this bandana on and see who wins. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're going to battle your teenager. Yeah. Yeah. I um I put I have a couple different ones, like a couple whatever. But um, I put Alanis Morissette, Jagged Little Pill. Yeah. Because that's like, usually when you're mad at somebody, not just like in a 
you know, that's high. Yeah, it's like angsty. When you're to rage out. Yeah. Just rage out. Yeah. It's, it's good and angsty. Oh, another person said Evanescence. Evanescence, that's a good mm-hmm. one. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, one of our, our dad listeners put... Um, <laughs> Uh, as a joke, you know, you want to hear the new club banger from Have Z Skip Nugget? New single, Just Can't Moms Today. It's bad. <laughs> Is he making us a song? Uh, yeah, <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> Just Can't Moms Today. So yeah. It was pretty funny. I don't, I'm trying to think. I like, uh, see, sometimes some... Um, rap is good like hip hop stuff is good and then I do I do like some just good plain old like 90s grunge yeah like Nirvana, Nirvana was really good with that yeah, yeah. Pearl Jinx. Jam oh my god thanks <laughs> give Pearl me a Jam. we're gonna see uh, we're actually going to see Pearl Jam in September you are it's our 2020 we booked it in 2020 it was supposed to be during the the Please don't tell me you're going yeah. to Red Rocks to see them. Where are you going to see them? No, no, no. They're not. I don't even think they play at Red Rocks. It's usually like Pepsi Center or something like that. But um, okay. I was like, no, if you're going to see Pearl Jam at Red Rocks, I'll be cool. so jelly. I know exactly. Uh, I would. I would mortgage <sighs> Baker out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would never do that. I love that. Uh, but I would mortgage Brad out. 100%. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'll give you a Brad for some. Uh, I mean, then I would Brad. take him to the concert though too. So <laughs> <laughs> for some. But yeah, Red I would. Oh my gosh, tickets. that. That would be an amazing concert. No, it's in uh, Oklahoma City, actually, because we had two tickets. We had one for uh, – we had Denver. We had gotten lottery tickets for Denver and Oklahoma City because they do, like, weird – I don't – the the way they do tickets is mind-blowing to me. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't, but I, I, it's, like a, it's like a cult thing, and that's not my – like, I don't care. Just I want to go see these people because I've loved them since literally sixth grade. I have loved – yeah, uh, like Pearl Jam. Temple of the Dog. Actually, mm-hmm. it was even, I, I think Temple before, of the I don't Dog even is good too. Yeah, oh. I mean, right? Are you right? <sighs> Anyways, so <laughs> we're aging ourselves. Yes, it's okay. Yes, and then also, so I, ha- I mean, we have different songs, right? So not just I can't mom say it. So my, what's your ju- your pump up song? Like if somebody was, if somebody said this to me, if somebody could introduce you onto a stage, like you're going to do a presentation, and they would introduce you with a song, mm-hmm. what song would it be? Ooh. Gosh, I don't know. I'd have to think about that. Well, what song did you pick? Since you've uh, Shoop always Shoop. pumps me up. Yeah, I'm like I mean, I know 95 percent of the words. Uh, <laughs> There's just some part some parts I just can't get. I don't know. I've listened to it for decades, and I just there are just some song some words in the song I can't sing. I can't I just can't it doesn't grasp. Yeah, it does not compute in my brain. Doesn't stick. <laughs> no, but I'm going to actually see. Oh my God! N- NKOTB, you're gonna see them. NKOTB. Tell Jordan I said hey. I know. I'm. So- There's somebody else with them too. I mean, like obviously it's not important. Uh, is it just like a '90s or an '80s? Is that '80s? I guess that's early '90s. Yeah, I was supposed to go. It's a. Uh, God, where is it? What? Um. It's mixtape tour 2022. So that I was supposed to see it last year. Uh-huh. Oh, I don't want to open YouTube. Do not open YouTube. Ah, stop. Go away. <laughs> um, I was supposed to go see it last year, but you know my dad and everything, so I yeah. can't go see it. But um, I'm curious yeah, to see just, if they're if they're still good. But it's yeah, just weird I mean, because step by I step, baby. Have in my head, you know, they're just like boys, and now they're like middle aged men. <laughs> It's just kind of I know. Strange. And do you know what time? Let me tell you what time this concert is. <laughs> like five, five o'clock, so you can go to the early bird dinner and then go. 8 p.m. Eight. Wow, that's late. Are you going to stay I was up like, that I'm late? sorry, what? <laughs> what? Yeah, isn't that bananas? And then, well, I have seen Salt and Peppa actually a couple of times. I saw them uh, for grad night. At Universal Studios when oh. I was graduating high school, so I've never seen them. Yeah, they were really good, and it was cool because the, there was almost nobody at grad night because it was like the first year that they'd done it. Oh my god, I'm old. And um, and mm-hmm. then I saw them not too long ago because they sometimes have um, uh, concerts after uh, football games here 
and after yeah. like FSU football games, and they they played one of the concerts and I got to see him at that. Of course, it was from farther away, but still, they're they're still really good, actually. So I think you should enjoy them. I don't know about NKOTV, but I know about Salt and Pepper. They were good. I mean, I'm just saying, like I'm still gonna have a good time, right? Oh hell yeah! You're gonna I have, have a, a babysitter. <laughs> I mean, my in laws and. <laughs> Uh, Brad's like it's a win-win. I'm out of town. You can you have his babysitters go do something. So I was like, okay. So I'm gonna take like the light rail down, and so I can have some drinks, and then take the light rail back, and then Uber home from the light rail. <laughs> uh, okay, there you go. Well, are you going by yourself? Obviously <laughs> not. Just kidding. No, I never go anywhere myself. <laughs> I'm like, I was gonna say, what are you going with? No, God, I would be so like I don't even know. Like I don't. Ugh. It would be like being picked last at dodgeball <laughs> or kickball. No, um, actually, I'm going with a friend, and uh, she, although she's never listened to them, I was like, what? What? She's only a few years younger than me, too. And huh. I'm like, what? But I was like, we're going to have a good time. I'm going to make you have a good time. <coughs> Excuse me. Whether you like it or not. Well, I'm sure she knows, like, Push It and Shoop and all that, right? I don't know. I, I don't really even, even know if I told her Salt and Pepper was going to be there. Or, or and she never listens listen to New Kids on the Block. Uh, don't no. She said no because I was like, <laughs> we can live out our youth, and she's like, I've never, I don't know their music. I was like, well, you need to brush up on it, girlfriend. Seriously, hanging tough and I know. Is, I mean, they had to, I had it on cassette. I had, had same, that. same, yeah, same, yeah. We are. I mean, they didn't have anything cool. else back then. I mean, I guess they had eight track to do like or eight tracks. <laughs> no, eight tracks were like a flash in the pan, man. I, I, think I know, but like player, they still but... have. I mean, I remember seeing eight tracks. I mean, don't get me wrong; I never had them, but no, uh, I don't know when they stopped making them. I don't. I don't mm. know. I knew we had a player. It was records. But we never had any. It was oh. records. Ding ding. Well, yeah. Well, records lasted for a while. I mean, they're still around. Eight tracks. Yeah, so. but I was trying to remember what, <laughs> what was before tapes. Like I'm like, what? How did oh. we listen to music? Oh, <laughs> I didn't even realize that you were pans and <laughs> spoons. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, I sell records. I love records. Yeah. There's something about record sound that just so classic. With that little bit of... Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> yeah. So any other songs? Oh, do, what are your, like, see, your go-to music that you will... Little, no matter what. Whatever, no oh, matter 80s what. 80s New mood. Wave. 80s? What is it? 80s New Wave? Like, uh, Depeche Mode, uh, Eurasia, uh, um, The Cure. 80s was a... 80s was a decade that needs to just go away. No, uh, uh-uh. uh, I don't yes, think it can be friends 100%. anymore. Shut up. Who, raise no, raise your hand if uh-uh. you agree. Raise no, his hand. <laughs> nope, nope. 80s new wave is the best. Thank you very much. And I'm not sure Blech. we can be friends anymore. The 90s is where it's at, girl. Uh, uh-uh. uh. Nope. 80s new wave. <laughs> it's Thank so funny you. how people are so like, so like stuck on their whatever their whatever it is. Uh, 80s new wave always makes me happy. Yes. Yeah. It's good stuff. I don't know that I have any music that, I mean, just '90s alternative radio yeah. makes me well, happy. Well, I like that too. Yeah, I like '90s grunge. Um, I like '90s grunge. But can we talk about So So Deaf All Stars? Do you remember the CDs? No. Oh my god! Okay. What's that? Nobody evidently remembers it. Evidently, this is something I made up in my head. Uh-huh. But it's like this just compilation of like different songs, and they're like, it's just uh, like butterfly. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, it's a good it, go. If you if you can get your hands on a CD, go for it. So so um, deaf. Is it kind of like um? No, that's what I call music. Twenty five. No, <laughs> no, no. I don't. No, it's not like that. It's not as cheesy as that. Okay. But it's really. I liked it. I mean, you know, what I'm saying. Um, you just got a good. Anyways, you just have to. You just gotta go look at it. It was just something with my high school years into college. Probably more my high school, but. Um, my go-to CD for anything is Counting Crows. Like I can listen to Counting Crows. Uh, it's like August or anything after or November or anything. After. I don't know. I can't remember. There's a month and anything after. Uh, I think it's August and everything after. Yeah. I think that's like my, that's my go-to song that I can just always, like my, not song, but CD where I can just listen to it. Yeah. Do, what do they call it now? Do they just say MP3s? Yeah. It's all. Like, that's my favorite MP3 or is it just song? Yeah, song. but like, how would you do? do what do you do? You do CD because we do CDs, right? Is it album? Is it like what? What do they call the digital now? It feels so old. Still, what do they, they call it digital now? Uh, they, it's still album. It's still 
called an album, I believe, you know, because it's a compilation. But you when know, we were little, artist. we never said album. We said tape. Yeah, that's true. Or CD. Or CD. Like my favorite yeah. CD. I still say CD. Oh, I don't do that. You're so uncool. <laughs> I probably don't reference music as much as I did, though, either. <laughs> true. True. What are the kids calling it? I now have to go research what are the kids calling albums now. <laughs> Is it retro? Is it so retro? It's cool again. Maybe album. You can tell yourself that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go <laughs> research it because now I need to know because I, you know, like it's something you don't think about. Yes, this is true. But definitely dates you. Yeah. Oh, I was on it when I was in Puerto Rico. I met there was a uh, one of the icebreakers was what's your favorite cartoon as a kid. Oh, okay. And you could tell when everybody was going based on what they said. It was hilarious. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, that definitely will, because I'd say Woody Woodpecker, and that's pretty old. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty old. Mine was uh, like she uh, and My Little Ponies. Oh, uh, well, I liked He-Man, too. And Thundercats. I, oh, Thundercats. Oh, oh, my God. I had a crush on Lionel. I mean, who didn't? Uh, he was one hot cat. <laughs> and who didn't want to be one of those twins? Or, no, I wanted to be Chitara. Oh, but I wanted to be a twin. I mean, I, I was a little bit younger, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's probably I why. To be she was cool. Like, that wasn't even in my scope. Like, I was like, I will never be old. <laughs> <laughs> and look at me now. There you go. <laughs> it all well, comes if you want to tell us, If you want to tell us what your f- favorite song is, hit us up in I Can't Mom Today podcast. We would love to hear what your songs are because I am always looking for new music. Yes. Um, I usually, you know, tend to keep what's what's in my universe but i do like new new music that comes out um but so i'm not an old fogey i mean come on guys uh-huh. but i just don't listen to, to radio much unless it's pandora in my 90s so let us know because i want to learn more and also if you know what kids are calling like a, a, an um album? yeah an album or a cd or a tape or yeah i think it's still album i think i don't know but yeah you can email us i can't mom today podcast at gmail.com also or hit us up on Facebook or Instagram. And don't forget to rate the podcast and check out our merch, too. You can get oh, yourself yeah. a nice I Can't Mom Today podcast. I got pasta sweatshirt, sauce. Sweatshirt, hoodie, whatever you call it. I got pasta sauce on my white shirt. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. It wasn't pasta. It was a tomato sauce. It was pasta. But, yes, I tried getting it out. And it's just a – it's all it's out, close to out. But I was like, I, pff, I can't spend any more time in this. So uh, <laughs> That's it's almost a little perfect, bit. I don't know if actually. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Of course. Just, just dump the whole thing in there. Yeah, you should just like go with it. <laughs> like circle it and be like right here, uh, right this here. This is an example yeah. of why I can't mom today. <laughs> but the funny thing is I wasn't even around my kid. <laughs> oh, well, you don't have to tell people that. I know, but I just head. did. I told the whole world. Oh. All right. <laughs> Until next time. Bye. Bye.